Hello and welcome to another walkthrough. Today we're looking at Grand Slam Tennis 2. Grand Slam Tennis 2, sorry. Um, we'll look at career first, I think. And have a little run through it, see what we have to do to set up and stuff. Uh, I haven't got a player, so I'm gonna. I'll be a male. Select my head. I think I'll go for this guy. Head appearance. Oh, God. These things, I'm not sure about these, whether well, I should bother or not. It's taken a while to load for some reason. Um, head shape. This is kind of a bit weird, though, isn't it? Styles. Uh, preview. Should we go for that? I'll stick with that. Bit of facial hair. <laughs> I think we'll stick with what we've got. It's a bit longer sideburns. Can I get that? Eyes look a bit dodgy, so I think I should sort that out. <laughs> uh, these things do look odd sometimes. My god, it looks like a. Looks really confused. <laughs> um, so you don't spend enough time on editing your character, so it looks absolutely terrible. Why would you want a monobrow? I'm probably making it look quite good actually. It's a big game now. Um, don't worry about the chin. Body, that's quite important. Stocky. Don't want to be stocky, do we? I think I'll be normal. Okay, let's go to the next bit. Um, my name is Scott, so I will be Scott. My surname will be. I think I'll do Riot, which is the name of my channel. If you don't know, he will be. His birthday. Uh, dear, then. Canadian, God no. Um, <laughs> that's a joke. Um, I love Canadians and Americans, of course. God, could cause a war here. Got the United Kingdom. I'm right-handed, so I'll stick it with right hand. Ooh, it's a bit picky. Sensitive baseline, all round. Serve and volley. I think I'll be offensive. Right, top. This is, I find this more more exciting than the actual bloody actually creating the character. I think I'll go for a bit of Fred Perry. I don't know Fred Perry is it. That's what a job bitch has. Oh god. I go for how many more are there? Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. God, EA Sports. Who should pick that? No offense to EA Sports, but well, I think I'll go for a bit of Nike. I can like change up a bit of black shorts. That's quite cool. I've got to change the racket, so... Do Nike do rackets? I'm not even sure. I 
I'm not sure if this is going to be a very good video or not. <laughs> is it quite boring? <laughs> you have to let me know. Get quite, keep the white socks. Um, not that keen on the shoes. I will go for those ones. Oh, we've got to have a sweatband because we're about to sweat a bit, aren't we? I don't know what we need Nike ones, don't we? So it just looks silly otherwise. I sound a bit gay now, don't I? Deciding what sponsor I want on my. As if it's like really important or something. Oh, I don't cost, I don't cost. There we go. Nike. Right. Shot style. Oh, okay, you can pick like who you want to be like. Got that right over can we for ourselves. Um be like Nadal for serve returns. Shot star. He looks like he's dying. Go for Fredra. Voice. Go for excited. Gotta be excited. Right, we are finished. Save and continue. This is very similar to sort of the layout of um, like FIFA and stuff like that, and Madden and sort of, sort of EA Sports. So I'm ranked defeat. Okay, so I have to sort of this could be interesting. So to get points as you sort of um, advance. Um, I literally don't know anything. I have a clue on the at the moment, so you're sort of learning with me. Um, perhaps do a bit of training, maybe. Try and improve my power and fitness. Start training. Well, I've done a quick little demo on this beforehand, so you might have seen me. I was, was not struggling, but I was doing okay. Because I'm not a massive fan of analog controls, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Lesson 2, how to perform a power volley. Volleys are executed when contacting a ball before the first bounce. This is a typical shot at the net. For a power volley, hold the right stick down and then push up in the direction you want it to hit the ball. Power volleys have higher power but low left and right range. Oh, okay. Sounds makes sense. Oh god, that is terrible. Excellent focus. Hey, stop wasting my time here. Great effort. Keep okay, it in late. That's a good effort. Alright, you're now pretty good at the net. Don't be afraid to it. You're pretty good at the net. Is that it? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Rating has gone up. My power and my fitness has gone up as well. Um, go to pre tournament. I'm sure you want to enter this tournament. I don't know, but I'm guessing I'll have to. Um, this will be our first match. Sweet S right. Um, I think we might go for a medium game. Oh god, I can't lose to this guy. I cannot lose. God, he's quite a bit better than me. Um, we just have to fight through this. Win victory. Do, 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 do. 
I've never been a, a massive, massive fan of like, tennis games. I'm a massive fan of tennis, and I've always wanted to play something that I really, really like. I've played uh, Top Spin a little bit. Um, I haven't played the first um, Grand Slam tennis, um, so I don't know what that's like. I've always wanted something potentially that I could play. Hopefully, this is good. I can Give us your videos of interest and stuff. Let's get on with it. Hey, um, yeah, this one might be a little bit slow, but there. I can't wait for this match to begin. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Oh. I don't know. Are you getting it either too late or too early? I've got to try and knuckle that down a bit. This isn't bad, very well, is it? Why should you uh, hit the ball to the side? It's easier to hit the ball standing there when you know where it's coming than it is when you're on the full run. So you got to test an opponent right away to see what he's capable of hitting the yeah. ball. Yeah. So the, this is just like a just like a, has, it's not really a proper it, tournament yet. It's not grand slam. And you start wearing down. It's tougher to come up with those running passing shots. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna get that. The pros are you give your back a bit. less time, time to come up with a pass and less confidence that he'll be able to do something with it. The cons, none. Getting back into this game now. Sweet. Oh, God, no. He looked out of that game. That's an impressive comeback. Yeah. Great, great effort, isn't it? Uh, winning, winning a whole bunch of points in a row while under pressure. Great, uh, great effort. Well, the player was down in the game, but turned it around and looks to pull this game out. Riot. Well, you have to roll the wrist to get that angle on a forehand winner. Alright, Mac. What's the pros? What's your look at it so far? Well, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me cover the line, cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross court, you have to stick your racket up. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point. Oh no! I love how this guy just dies over here. Normally, like a proper tennis match, you see like perhaps one dive or something. If that, like, it's not something tennis players often do because it's risky for energy, for in injury. Uh. Oh, he's fighting back! He's fighting back! Imagine if an actual tennis player was going riot. I'm gonna hit the guy in the face. Has to be serving in the right spot on this break point. Well, that give you confidence getting the first break in the set. I tell you, it's frustrating. You hit a big break, serve, break, and the next thing you know, you break, lose break, the, break. the game and the break of serve. You start to second guess yourself. So that's a big break right there. The player's looking to Clean hold break. serve. Consolidate the break and really take charge here in this match. Oh, no chance of getting that, mate. No chance. Oh, he's struggling, he's struggling. Struggling, he's struggling, he's struggling. And finally, he's got set. The controls don't feel too bad. Just um, I got used oh, to the. Just push that one too wide. Oh, my first fault. I got get used to like the go. um too late and all point. that sort of jangle. Okay. What you got that? I was confused there. I was coming back on it.
This is obviously one of the biggest releases coming out. Um, it's going alright. Sort of. Um, I mean, it's not the darkness at the moment, but I've got the darkness, so I might be doing some coverage on that. But I'm trying to finish the shank and soul calibre at the moment. So I've got a lot on. I'm trying to sort of finish it off so I can sort of move on to sales. I'm really looking forward to um, another EA title from Mass Effect. If you haven't played that, make sure you play number two or something. It's just an amazing game. Amazing franchise and the story's great. It's got to be one of my favourite games of this generation so far. Well, you know, and next point, of course, Love 40 here in real, real trouble. So looking for a big first serve here and get a quick point. Yeah, come on. Thinking you might be going for something on the serve. It's not a bad first match for him, is it, Mr. Scott Wright? He's doing alright, he's doing alright. Is that the f end of the set, or is that...? And they were underway again. Yeah, I think it's... The first of three for each set, and then... I think there's three sets. Oh, what that a late, I managed to get it. Ooh. What do you think about having like sponsors and stuff in games? Um, I remember playing the, the Need for Speed, and that had a lot of <laughs> random sponsors who sort of racing through. And, like, that sort of a little bit, I thought that was a little bit odd. No time I agree with it. It's perhaps so in something like this absurd. when it's got ESPN, sort of. Just like subtly, it almost makes, make, makes it feel more realistic. As in, obviously, someone that, if he was watching a tournament or something, they'd have sponsors. So I don't mind sort of sports games having sort of sponsors on the side, as long as it doesn't interfere sort of with the game or something. But I don't know, they have to be very careful because I think they don't want to start getting into that sort of territory of having adverts in every, new, every game that we play. Especially something like Resident really Evil or something like that, where you have like a project like Coca Cola uh, sort of sitting there or something. Set, just just when it gets a little bit odd. So, as long as it's subtly sort of put in, I think it should be fine. But, something that's good to be aware of. This is in Dubai this morning. God, it's nice and hot. I think this opponent should give up tennis, to be honest. I mean, Jesus, he can't even see the other back. I'm guessing the game gets a lot, lot harder than this. Especially like Grand Slams and stuff. Oh, I say that, I'm missing. What a play! This is where you can say to yourself, I've Stood tall. And it's our news. Grab the match. Good win in the end. Listen, Pretty easy. Why are you tapping away, can't you? Trying to get to the end of the tournament. Maybe win. So that's the win. Win, win, win. Step by step Sweet. here. So this is a good job here. Advance. Do, 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 do. I think that will conclude the end of the part one of the career mode. Um, I'll continue doing another part in a minute, so make sure you check back soon. I um, hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you like, favourite, and subscribe. I'm hoping to do a few more for this series. It might not be done as much as other series. I'm just going to be covering it slightly, sort of some of the gameplay and stuff like that. I hope you enjoy.